Swing the Gitan, Shalom. Shalom. And welcome to Culture Buzz. You have just uh, concluded a wonderful performance in uh, Give a Time Theater. And uh, I can tell by the audience reaction that you really hit a chord that is not an easy thing to do, especially with the spoiled Israeli audience. So, how do you do it? We just play the gypsy swing. It's hot music. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, it's also uh, something special in Israel. We are bringing this culture and this plane to Israel with a lot of joy and enthusiasm. And I think that people uh, feel it, that we like it even more than they are. Yaakov and uh, Ori? Ori. Yeah. Ori. Let's start with the two guitarists. Don't worry, Oren, we will get to your uh, role, your important role uh, later on. Listening to you play, watching your play, it's amazing. You are virtuosi. It takes lots of uh, sweat, I guess. How did it start? When did you uh, decide that this is the kind of music you would like to become an expert on? Uh, I actually met them, uh, I saw them play before I uh, joined them, and I always uh, knew this kind of music but never saw it live. And once I saw it played live, it, uh, it struck me. And, uh, Then I got enthusiastic about it and went to Europe and uh, looked to buy a gypsy guitar. You couldn't find any of these guitars, they are very special guitars, you couldn't get them in Israel. And I went to study with a teacher in Amsterdam and, uh, and when I came back I, I told them that I'm playing and I have a guitar and then we started playing. But just uh, to see them live, it's uh, that, what made it the first spark for me. By the way, where do you get a gypsy guitar? Uh, in Europe, it's a, it's, there's a tradition of luthiers who build this kind of guitar. They're specializing in these uh, Selmer type guitars. Okay. And, uh, it's the one with the small hole. There are two kinds, one the oval hole and the D hole. Right. And you have uh, in Germany and uh, the Netherlands and in France and Belgium, that's, these are the main places. But they're also, uh, in, uh, you can find them in the USA and also Yaakov is uh, has done something with a luthier in Israel who made also an Israeli gypsy guitar. Yeah. I first met uh, Herr Django at age 13. I got a cassette from my brother who gave me all the music that I knew. Uh, Django Reinhardt. Yeah. yeah, he gave me a cassette of Django Reinhardt. Yeah. And I, I was so amazed and I always looked in the... In, in the there wasn't an internet then. So I, I was looked in, looking in catalogs for Django CDs because there wasn't much here and video movies about him. And, but it was a very big dream, but I never really played this style until I heard it the uh, first time live again in Copenhagen. And then I met a few friends and I started to learn. And when I came to Israel, I said I got to, to do the hot club, the Israel here. And then I met Oren and we started to work together. And since then, as he said, I also uh, had a, a gypsy jazz guitar on my name here in Israel that we built it here because it's very expensive to fly and to buy it uh, outside Israel. And also I have a site and I'm teaching this style over the, all over the world, gypsyjazzschool.com. Via the internet? Via the internet. You have students all over the world? Yeah, it's amazing. Amazing. Yeah. From uh, Tunisia to Mexico, to uh, most of the students are in the United States and Europe, but even in China, it's amazing. Yeah. Fantastic. As I promised, we now switch to Oren. Oren, you are the one. <laughs> He is the who is one. Skipping, who is skipping the beat. Who is skipping the beat. One might describe your role on the stage as the responsible adult. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I... I describe these two wonderful guitarists as uh, virtuosi, and I believe you deserve the same uh, 
description. It's fantastic. How did you get to the gypsy uh, music playing? Uh, first of all, I play uh, jazz, uh, all jazz, uh, and then uh, I hear the jungle music. I very like, like, like this music. And then uh, I play all the time the standards of uh, jungle. This is the way. <laughs> Guys, uh, I want to tell you something about Oren. Sure. It's, very, it's a big pleasure to play with Oren because he never learned to play. He just learned by himself. And he taught himself how to play the contrabass. What we call autodidact. Yeah, how, exactly. And he plays in so uh, a unique way. Uh, so it's very inspiring to play with him because he's not playing like any other contrabass. Basically, player. he plays like a gypsy. And he learned to play like a gypsy. Yeah, that's right. He's a gypsy. <laughs> he's authentic. Yeah. <laughs> and he's really gypsy. Or a gypsy is really. Uh, I wanted to ask you. Uh, you have your own style, it's quite apparent, and you are very tuned in together. You, you are one unit on stage. Do you come up with your own music mm -hmm. as well? Yes. Yeah, of course, we write our own music. And everybody, every one of us has its different uh, way of writing. I'm trying to combine the gypsy jazz music with the Middle Eastern music. I really like. I, I, I always play wood and I love Middle Eastern music. Okay. And I try to combine. There are a lot of co lot in common between the wood playing and the gypsy jazz style. And try to find the connection okay. of my uh, two love music. And Ori has a different kind of writing, and Oren has different type of writing too. I, I think because I'm the I'm bass player, I think. Uh, how the uh, gypsy uh, guitar player uh, writes music, and then uh, this, is, this is the way I uh, write music. I see. Uh, combining different uh, music influences is very, very, is becoming very popular right. all over the world. We call it sometimes ethnic music or world music. In Israel, we always say, that since we are a society of immigrants, you can find fusion, sometimes confusion. <laughs> but you are, it seems that you are taking this gypsy, Israeli, Mediterranean, Middle Eastern music to new levels. You have a very unique style. And my question is to you, uh, are you planning now that you have secured your place in Israel as the number one gypsy uh, band, are you planning to go abroad? Yes, yeah, we, we love to. We also, uh, we all went abroad uh, this time or another to, to play with other gypsy guitarists, musicians over the world. And Jacob and Owen went to Samoa where there's a big jungle festival each year and all the great players play there and... Uh, Where is it exactly? Uh, it's in a village uh, an hour from Paris, okay. France. And also we, have, we already made some collaboration with international artists like Ludo Reinhardt who came to Israel is... Uh, is related to jungle? Related, yeah. yes. Uh, there's some relation and also a great violin player who also plays in our city, Daniel Welschlinger. Okay. He's Australian and he came to Israel to visit his family because Jewish and he contacted us and we he recorded with us, we made concerts with him, so we already made some connections with international. Uh, we also played here with uh, Hot Club de Norvège, uh -huh. with uh, John Larson and uh, uh, with uh, Evan Christopher, he's a clarinet player and we are having another tour with him in Israel. Wonderful. One year, year from now. Wonderful. Yeah, so now after we made also, beside our work here as um, music uh, band, instrumental music band. We made a collaboration with very famous singers, song, songwriters in Israel, Nikki Gabrielov. Ah, fantastic. Nikki Gabrielo, and with Dorit Ben-Zeev. 
Uh, was performed with you tonight. Yeah, that's right. And uh, this was part of the way to be known in Israel to a very big audience because it's not only for instrumental music, we also make collaboration with uh, local uh, famous uh, singers. You also enjoy it very much. So yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. It brings new spirit to the band each time. Thank you for uh, mentioning uh, Dori who also was part of this wonderful performance. We wanted yeah. to interview him, yes. but the minute he heard it's in English, yeah. he apologized no, and, he had and, and, he said, and said that uh, with the exception of two words or three words, the lemon tree, his English <laughs> is not so good. <laughs> it's a joke. Uh, gentlemen, let's talk uh, uh, about your new CD. It's called Musa. Yeah. What can you tell us about this? <laughs> uh, it's our debut CD. We've been working, uh, we've been active for a few years, and uh, we wanted to make a, rock, a record for a long time. It took us some time, but uh, we wanted to do it good. And uh, it's it's a mixture of, of arrangements of standards or less known jungle standards and songs that we liked and felt that we brought something new to these songs that uh, other artists haven't done yet, yet. and uh, also there are some original, two, two originals by Jacob and one by me, and also Daniel Wesslinger plays there for tracks, the violin player, and uh, that's it. It's, uh, <laughs> we have a very good connection between the three of us and I think we try to, to we succeeded to bring this connection to the recording session, which is a live session. Not to mention on stage, yeah. which we have said before, it's, it's, it's very obvious. Thank you, and uh, as Ori said, I think that what is uh, beautiful in this city is that we, we try to bring something, you know, in the Gypsy Jazz in the band, there is one leader and the other guitar playing mostly accompaniment. Supportive role. Yeah, and uh, we are two soloists that yes. are, we are making a conversation all the time and we switch uh, our uh, parts. So of all the gypsies bands playing in the world, yours is probably the most democratic. <laughs> yes, yeah. The gypsy, uh, it's very democratic. They say what I tell them to do. <laughs> Wonderful. They do what, I them to do. Uh, what can we wish? swing the gitan in the near future, in the more far future. What do you wish yourselves? Uh, I, I think, uh, no, just to keep uh, doing what we're doing. We're not uh, planning anything, but we're just going after what, uh, after our hearts, or what we want to hear, or what, what, what music we want to do, and more collaborations with uh, interesting artists, and. Maybe really go abroad and start to uh, to expand. And just uh, keep doing what we're doing. We like it and uh, write new music. I want to. I wish for ourselves to keep the energy and the happiness that we have together as a band and together when we are while we are playing. And I think that all the collaborations we are doing, as you said, we are a society of immigrants. So we have a lot of amazing musicians here. We had an accordion player from Moldova who lived with gypsies all his life and we made an amazing collaboration with him. He doesn't know even one word in Hebrew. He's in Israel. He's in Israel. And his name? He's um, Emil Koiter. Emil Koiter. Yeah, and we are uh, communicating only with, uh, with, uh, with the music. And I think that all this cooperation helps us to keep the, the passion for this music, so I hope that we will also succeed in our dream to bring this passion to Israel so everybody here will know this music and will listen to this music and it's very important to us. In fact, I think we made a change here in Israel because we, before we started nobody uh, played Django in the radio but now you can hear gypsy singing in the radio in Israel you can hear us and you can hear other gypsy jazz Music. You can go to a store here, to a music store, and find Gypsy Jazz CDs. 
not only by John Goran, right now. Section for gypsies. There is a section for gypsies and it's new, it's only because I think... So we have to thank you for this. So, so we thank you for this. Thank you. <laughs> So okay. there are new musicians that are yeah. uh, young musicians who following in your footsteps. Yeah, that's yeah. our students. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. Probably one of the most important questions about swing digital will be what made it natural for you as Israelis to feel this uh, connection to gypsy music? Because I know of another Israeli musician, we spoke about him before, Kobe Israelite, who also discovered the gypsy Romanian accordion. What is it, do you think, in, in being Israeli, that you have this almost natural attraction to gypsy music, if there is? Um, from what I see, Israel uh, is known for its uh, open-hearted and for better and worse, yeah, and, and, and very live. People are very, more more alive here and, uh, than in Europe. There, there are some some very open here. The connection is very well. Yeah, the connection with people. You can you can go, you know, and just meet people and make friends. It's very it's very easy here, and, and I think the same spirit is uh, exists in the gypsy communities. Like they come and there's a big party and very welcoming and uh, I think that's that's why why it feels natural to us because we come from a, a similar uh, kind of view of life maybe that's that's really down to earth <laughs> or maybe some uh, con concluding words <laughs> and then the, the right uh, word so I will say it in your permission. I will say thank you very much for enriching Israel with your music and I would wish you all the best and lots of success in the future, both in Israel and abroad. Toda Rabba, Swing Dejitan. Thank you. Thank you.